Hey guys, what's up? This is Mummy Sexual reporting for duty. So I normally don't make a video on this particular day that I'm uploading this, but I found some interesting information that I just wanted to randomly share with you guys. And so before I get into that, I just want to talk about Kirara Magica. I'm sorry if I butchered that. I'm not the best at pronouncing Japanese, but you can see it on the screen here. So Kirara Magica is a Puella Magi only magazine published by Monthly. Each issue contains information about the latest Madoka Magica releases, interviews with staff members, manga, one shot, and serializations by various artists. So essentially, this is a, an official uh, source for news and interviews related to Madoka Magica. Now, the reason that I wanted to mention this before I got into the video is because I found some interesting information. I just want to give credit to who mention this. You can see the person's name here and then and their page. That this is basically information that's on their Tumblr that they reported. But basically some information has been released in regards to Madoka Magica in terms of uh, what's been shown in the concept chair and what could happen in the future of Madoka should we get a continuation. So I'm just going to read to you what I found. It's basically an interview between uh, two staff members who are a part of Madoka Magica, and they basically revealed some very interesting information about Homura. So let's read that for a second. Okay. From the interview in latest Kirara Magica magazine, which I just mentioned is an official Madoka magazine for information, um, so the interviewer asked, question, Chief Editor Kobayashi-san, did you watch the concept movie in Monogatari Exhibition? And Kobayashi responded by saying, I participated in the meeting about new work, but I had a shock when watching. That movie was different from what we talked before. So I find that to be kind of interesting because obviously uh, the creators are in the process of talking about, you know, new work in regards to Madoka, but the information in the trailer is different from what was apparently talked about based on what uh, Kobayashi is saying, which I find to be kind of interesting. So it kind of means that maybe they have more ideas that they're throwing on the table besides what we saw in the concept trailer. I mean, it's something to think about. And next up, I see... Um, Next up, uh, Akiyuki Shimbo, who is a director in regards to Madoka Magica, he says... In the scenario, Homer was the protagonist, but we wanted other characters to get their activity, so we drew more. Many things like, it's no way mommy doesn't have her role, or imagining only Sayaka can turn into witch, so she'll be sealed, were added. So essentially what this means from this information is that we now know that should the concept trailer, should everything that we saw in the concept trailer be made into a new like new movie or a new season, Homer is going to be a protagonist. She's not going to be an antagonist like she was at the end of the third movie. For those that don't know what an antagonist is, it's basically a character who is positioned to be against the main character or, or the other characters of the series in some way. And a protagonist is essentially the good guy in, in, in an actual like anime. So essentially the information that we now have is that Homer is displayed to be a protagonist in the concept trailer. So what does this mean for a possible sequel for Madoka Magica? I want to hear what you guys think. I'll probably make a follow-up video, maybe analyzing this a little bit more, but for now, I just wanted to get this information out to you guys, since I'm sure many of you don't know. So let me know your thoughts. What do you think about Homer being a quote-unquote good guy, and how do you think this is going to affect the series of Madoka? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Peace out.